there will come a time when you will want to copy an existing installation and update it for a new installation. This is the approach we will be taking for creating the MegaView standard user installation. So I will give an overview on how to reuse the MegaView 1.0 project. Now I've actually done these steps before, but I haven't specifically spelled it out to you, which is why I'm doing it in this movie. The first thing you do is copy the installation folder that you want to reuse. You copy the whole thing with all the subfolders and files. You go to the place that you want to copy it to, and you paste it. And after you've pasted it, you rename it to the new name. So in our case, that's going to be MegaView 1.0 Standard User. Now what we'll do is we will go open the project in Install Shield and see if we need to make any corrections. Let's open the MegaView 1.0 Standard User Project. The first thing we're going to do is change the path variables in the project. Now if you look at these here, you'll see that they're pointing to the old location, MegaView 1.0. We don't want that. So this is going to be MegaView 1.0 Standard User. Now both paths have been updated, so this project will take the files from the proper locations. The next thing is that sometimes you need to go to the support file billboards view and check and see if any of the links have been broken. I don't see any problems there or there. Yeah, it's pointing to the right folder. And then once in a while, you might have to do something else. But generally, for Install Shield 2011, that's all you have to check the path variables and the support files view. Now, what's interesting about this is that when you copy a folder in an installation project, what you have to do to update it is different for every version of Install Shield. So what I just told you will work for Install Shield 2011. And that's all there is to it.